All right. I believe we got it now. All right. So welcome to Tiki Man Radio. Uh, so glad to have you guys here. And uh, so tell us a little bit about Hello Gorgeous. Um, well, first of all, thank you for having me. And, you know, I'm excited because uh, my late husband and I were really big Jimmy Buffett fans. And, you know, the correlation that I, I see is that, you know, I always felt like, um, you know, kind of the, the paradise theme was always just kind of an escape for people. It was, it gave them a different state of mind. And I said, you know, with what we do with Hello Gorgeous, it's very similar. It's an escape from her cancer journey. Right. And so um, I'm really, really, really excited to be here. So um, Hello Gorgeous was started 16 years ago. Um, and the story is that I was a hairdresser and um, my, my goal was always to open a salon. I always wanted to be a salon owner. And my late husband said to me, I have the perfect name for a salon. He said, we should call it Hello Gorgeous. <laughs> that's said, right. <laughs> this name I've never heard. When I call it Hello Gorgeous, that's dumb. And he said, no, it'll be really great because every time you answer the phone, you get to say Hello Gorgeous and it'll make people smile. <laughs> there you go. Like, wow. Stupid. We're not doing it. And uh, we opened a salon, named it Shavu. Um, I owned the salon for 10 years and there was just always something that was missing. Yeah. I, I couldn't even tell you what it was. It just was like an emptiness in my heart. And um, we did everything, remodeled the salon, you know, went for training, all that kind of stuff. Right. And I remember we were on a road trip back from Indianapolis. I live in South Bend, Indiana. We were on our way back from Indianapolis. And I was having this conversation with Mike about how I knew there was just something more for us to be doing and more something was missing. And um, it just fell on my heart. And I said, I know what we need to do. We need to have a mobile day spa that caters to cancer patients. Yeah. We need to have this beautiful, elegant palace on wheels that will just show up a few feet from her home and make her feel like a queen for a day during a time where she doesn't feel very special. And so, um, you know, he sat there and listened. And, you know, I don't know how many of your listeners are business owners, but people have a misconceived notion about business owners. <laughs> you know, they think that you own a business and that you take this huge wad of cash and you put it in your pocket. You live this luxurious <laughs> lifestyle. <laughs> yeah. You cannot be further from the truth. And so, you know, we by the time we got a little bit of money set back, the water heater would go out or there would, yep. you know, taxes would do or something. And so I'm telling him this big dream that I have. And, of course, he's willing to do anything to get out of the salon at this point in time because it's not what we thought it would be. Sure. And I looked at him and I'm telling him this big dream. And all of a sudden I said to him, and you know what? We're going to do this for free. Well, and I watched all the color run out of his face. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. And he said to me, I, I, I don't understand. I said, I don't know, Mike. I just know this is what we're supposed to do. So him being the supportive husband that he was, he went to a bookstore and bought me every book he could find on free money for women and grant writing for dummies and grant writing for women. <laughs> and he got back in the car and I'm telling him my dream. And I loved being able to talk to my husband in the car because he couldn't escape. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Yes. And so I just kept, you know, dr drilling out the stream. And our son was three years old at the time. And uh, we got to a point where there was like a big play area and he'd woken up from his nap. So we were getting out of the car. Mike was really ready to escape. And so we were getting out of the car and uh, we were walking up to this play area. And 10 years had passed from the time that I had actually opened the salon to this particular point in time. And I grabbed a hold of Mike's arm and I said, you know what, Mike, this is supposed to be called Hello Gorgeous. I said, the salon was never supposed to be called Hello Gorgeous. This is supposed to be called Hello Gorgeous. Wow. What a journey. I mean, you know, when we're on the road and we're doing radio and we just got back from Panama City working with a charity down there when we're down in Key West for our songwriter showcase every year, uh, we've always got, you know, at times we've got two or three different charities that we're working with. So, you know, there is a point, no matter uh, how long you've been in business or no matter how far you've been going with whatever it is you're working on, there's a point where you feel like you want to give back. You know, not that yes. you have to or it's a, you know, it, maybe it's a need inside of you, but you feel like you have to, to give back somehow, some way. And if uh, you can have fun doing what you're already doing and, and uh, help other people, it's it's kind of what really makes the world go round. It is. And what I love is that ours, the signs of what we do are so visible. So yeah. so the Hello Gorgeous program is when we were doing things in person, you know, COVID kind of changed everything. Sure. But the whole crux of what we did was makeovers on women battling cancer. But it had to be a surprise. So she had no idea what she was up against. So she'd show up and we'd show up unannounced. We'd roll out a red carpet. 
greeted with a great big hello gorgeous presented with candy and flowers and a certificate and then she was treated to a head to toe makeover manicure pedicure facial if she needed a wig we provide one if she's ready for cut and color we do that then we worked with a clothier to plan um to get her a new outfit and then we planned a big reveal party for her afterwards hmm. and you know i remember when we first came up with this you know you talk about giving back and i remember when we first came up with this and i just thought oh my gosh i said this is so silly you know, I, I feel so foolish saying, I'm so sorry you have cancer. Let me paint your fingernails for you. Yeah. What I didn't realize was the impact that we would have on these women. Sure. That three hours that we spent with them was life changing. And these women would come back to us over and over and over again and say, that was the best day of my life. We had one woman that came to us and said, I remember my birth date, my diagnosis date, and my hello gorgeous day. You watch these women come in and they look like they are going to vomit. They, yeah. They're they're peaked and their color is off and you spend a little time with them and you show them some love. And all of a sudden at the end of that three hours, they look like they could walk a catwalk in New York City. Right. It is absolutely incredible. And so what I love about the work that we do is we get to see it. Like you physically watch that transformation take place on each one of these women and it's incredible. And I and I will tell people to the day I die, I have the best job in the whole world. Yeah, no doubt. Mm-hmm. I mean, and congratulations for you. I mean, that's that's fantastic that you've got all that going on. I mean, how do you? Uh, I mean, I guess how's the selection process? How does that all work? You know, when you find when you you know figure out who it is is going to get the the makeover. How does that all work? So it's a nomination process. So again, before COVID hit, um, we had um, 33 affiliates in 15 states. So we had salon partners that participated where they were the face of Hello Gorgeous in their community. When COVID hit, everything shut down. What I realized was even though we were in the middle of a pandemic, there were still women that were being diagnosed with cancer. Sure. Cancer just took a back seat, but there was still cancer was still very much prevalent. And so we had to find a way to be able to help these women, whether we were in a pandemic or not. So we actually shifted and we actually do makeovers now, they're virtual makeovers. So before where it was a nomination process and you had to have a loved one nominate you, which that became a challenge too, because we would have women that would reach out to us and say, I don't have anybody. Yeah. I, I, there isn't anybody. And and unless it was a surprise, we couldn't do it. That was just the way I developed the program. So with the virtual makeover now, anybody can do it. You don't have to be nominated. You just go to the website, fill out the form. We send you a box of this amazing product. And then there's a video tutorial that shows you how to do absolutely everything in the box. It shows you how to draw your eyebrows on, shows you how to counteract the effects of your chemotherapy. And what's been really rewarding for me is that the same description terms that the women were using when they were getting the in-person makeover is the same descriptive terms they're using by doing the virtual makeover. Wow. So I'm grateful that we're still able to have the same impact. Wow, that's amazing. You know, so much, we talk about it all the time, so much uh, about the pandemic changed a lot of uh, our thought process, right? How do we do this? How do we get this? You know, the people that, that really, uh, like yourself, that, that really got it, you, you just you sat down and you came up with another plan. And out of that plan, you discovered and learned all kinds of new things, right? And, and it sounds like it was uh, beneficial for you because it, you can't just not do it. You got to figure out how to do it, right? Yes, but and and when I meet you in person, you will find out I am a hugger. <laughs> well, I am too. I mean, I just I just left Panama City, and I must have had a thousand hugs down there. So it was, uh, you know, after. Uh, I, I am I am very much a hugger. Like I meet you, and I there is no hand shaking in my world. I just give you a big hug. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've ho- you've hooked up with the right group of people then, uh, because yeah, that's that's yeah, what we're all about. Yeah. But I will tell you that had somebody come to me prior to the pandemic and said, Kim, we really think that you want to come up with a virtual option because you'll be able to reach more people. I just said, absolutely not. Yep. You got to be in person. You got to feel. But you know what? When I'm in a corner and that is my only option, then I'll do whatever it takes. And and so what it's done is it's just added another level of service sure. to what we offer. But I, I'm grateful. As I said, you know, I don't know that there are a lot of people that can say that. I'm grateful for the pandemic we've been able to we um a few weeks ago we shipped a virtual makeover to alaska and we actually have shipped one over to canada well i don't have affiliate salon i don't know that i'd ever have affiliate salons in those two areas so because of the virtual option now we're able to reach women in different parts of the the earth that we may have never been able to reach before so i'm grateful yeah me too i i, I feel the same way i say it all the time and 
uh, the further we go along, uh, I, I don't I don't feel so bad about it. I mean, because I I know that because of the pandemic and you know the sheer fact we can do this video right now and everybody watching this on YouTube can see you live came out of that right and it's always out there on youtube and and uh you know with uh our radio station it reaches 28 different countries people can can hear you on the radio and hear about your organization we've got you on our website uh when jen and i got to give jen shin uh, uh full credit for this because when she reached out to me about you guys i was just blown away i was like wow what a fantastic uh organization uh, we'd love to do that you know so i know there's all kinds of things we can do we got collington creek some things in the work there uh you know i, I talked to you you know about, we're going to jamaica next week for our first annual tiki man radio escape to paradise with uh, a bunch of our friends and then next year we're going to do something and i told you kind of a brief thing about that so there's yes. all kinds of things uh that we can do to, to help you out awesome well i am excited as i said you know about early on in the show about the partnership just because i feel that it's such a parallel you know you give people a vacation state of mind mm. and what we give to these women is just a small vacation from the journey that they're going it's a very long journey life is a very long journey and so i'm really 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 grateful to be teamed up with you guys i think this is going to be awesome yeah i mean you was talking about you know how excited uh, they get when they get a gift or what listen my mom is 88 years old and she's just tickled deaf you cut her toenails <laughs> of course the hippie the hippie chick here gets uh she does more of that than i do, I, I'm, I like, do that. I, I'm like i, I don't know about this you know? i'm like let me go get the shears out of the toolbox or whatever you know but, yeah. <laughs> but uh so tell everybody i mean obviously we have a link on our website tkmanradio.com and click on the picture but uh how can people reach out to you if they have somebody that wow i didn't know this was there this would make such an impact in in my sister's life or my mom's life or whatever how can they reach out to you so um our website is hellogorgeous.org and so there's a whole plethora of items on there we even have a free resources page for anyone that's either battling cancer or has a loved one battling cancer. Um, we're on all the social media channels. So if you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, um, we have a YouTube channel with a bunch of um, very helpful videos as well. And we're just getting into TikTok now because TikTok's like all the new rate, you know, all we needed was one more social media platform to get on, right? Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, Facebook uh, has, you know, we're, we're the old people on Facebook. I don't know when that happened, when the kid says, oh, yeah, yeah I don't do that that's for op yeah okay like, boomer what the hell yeah. when did this happen you know i want that's what i want to know you know I, my son is a freshman in college and um i drove down this week he's got finals next week and he just needed a little mom time and so i went down there and i said something about facebook he goes yeah mom that's for old people now <laughs> <laughs> When did I become the old? I thought I, was a cool mom. When did I become the old person? I know. I and I've noticed the world is catching up to me as well. I've noticed now that I'll be fifty six this year, and I've noticed that everywhere I go. Uh, you know, people are saying, you know, well, there is a discount for 55 and over, you know. <laughs> like, at, first it, at first it made me mad, and, and now I'm like, oh, really? How much is that? <laughs> I, you know what? And maybe it's the guy-girl thing. I turned 55 this year, and as soon as the AARP thing come, I ripped it up and put it in the trash. So I'm not, oh, come I'm on. Not, I'm a member. Uh, well, well, of course he is. He is not old enough to be a member. Uh, guy yes, I know. If he, you have a person in your household over the age of 50, you can be a member as well. Well, oh. uh -huh. that's true. That's true. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you lied about your, your age just no, so you could get in early. He's you know? dead, <laughs> yes. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> hey, we really appreciate you joining us. And uh, I'm so, uh, so happy. I know you, you're busy and you got things you got to go get to and uh, you're squeezing in the time for us. I thought it was important. Uh, we haven't, uh, you know, we were in Panama City last week. We're going to Jamaica. I wanted to get this in here, get the information out uh, so everybody knew what we were talking about from you. So thank you so much for being a part of the show this morning. I, I appreciate all of this. I'm, I'm with you. I'm so excited that Jen reached out to me and that she and I were able to have a conversation and that, that this part partnership i'm 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 excited to watch this partnership flourish so and i need to send you a sticker for your board that's a hello gorgeous sticker i, I do i need oh, stickers yeah. back here yeah absolutely uh and if you've got any kind of sign or anything that you uh, you know these are there's six different cameras here uh four on the other thing but uh we got banners and whatever we'd love to have something that uh, we can okay. that'll be in the background for you okay 
Great. Yep. I'll get that to you. That'd be awesome. Thank All you. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us, and we'll talk to you soon, okay? Keep All smiling. Right, thanks, Have a good day. Bye. Bye-bye.